What's up, YouTube? Welcome to another episode of 60 Formula. Hope you're doing well today. On this episode, we are going to be talking about how much you should be feeding your Siberian Husko. Now, whether you're brand new to Siberian Huskies and you just got a puppy, or you're a seasoned Husky veteran, this is going to be a video to help you figure out how much you should be feeding your pretty little pepperoni pizza. Now, it all depends on how much you're feeding your dog based on how old they are and how big they are. Siberian Huskies can range in size and weight, so it's really important you pay attention to how big your doggo is and how old they are. Both of those are going to be contributing factors in how much you are feeding your puppo. Look at Hila, she's like, I got into trouble today. It was funny, it was. I can't believe this crazy face went ahead and jumped up where you put all of your goods at PetSmart. She literally gave the lady behind the thing a heart attack. It was hilarious though. If you guys didn't see that, don't miss the episode of me taking Gila to Petco. We uploaded it this morning. You should be able to find it in our new video playlist. So come with me, will you, on another episode of 60 Formula where we find out how much you should be feeding your Siberian Husko. Come on, let's go. All right, so first things first, the number one thing you're gonna wanna do is get yourself a bag of dog food. The dogs are like, holy crap, what is that thing you just threw my way? And Britney Spears is like, oh, I know exactly what it is. Look at all that good delectable goodness. Now, when it comes to dog food, I do highly recommend grain-free dog food. We have the dogs eating blue buffalo right now, and this is a life protection formula. It's a healthy weight for adults. Admittedly, this is what my puppies came home with when they were with the breeder, so when we we can't afford the expensive stuff. This is what we get, the blue buffalo. Now, I recommend all sorts of different foods for your Siberian Husky. You can get Taste of the Wild, you can get Canaday, you can get Solid Gold. They're all great brands. Just make sure that you are looking into the ingredients that you are feeding your dogs. Make sure that there's nothing gross in there. Make sure you're getting everything grain-free. Look at Hila, she's like, when is my time to get a little bit of food, baby? You're a good girl. The next thing you're gonna want to get is one of these. Now this is just a regular old cup. Just one of those little kids cups you get at a restaurant and they say, here's your free kids drink. They are really good sizes. Most of the time you can get them plastic and you can keep them in your dog bag. Now this is what we use, but if you don't have this, you can just get a measuring cup and measure out one cup. I usually just fill this up and call it a cup because guess what? This yellow thing is in fact a cup. So let's say you just got your Siberian Husky. Your Siberian Husky is a little baby puppy. It's about three, four, five months old. You're only gonna be feeding that little puppy about one cup. So every single time you feed a Siberian Husky puppy, it should only be about this much food right here in this cup I'm showing you. Now, admittedly, this is not puppy food. These are bigger grains. And I want to say this before I proceed any further. If you do have a large dog like a Siberian Husky, you're going to want to get large breed formula. Large breed formulas are going to help your Husky puppy grow really strong. So make sure on the bag, if you do have a puppy, get the large breed breed formula. Now these kibbles are bigger than what a puppy's kibbles are going to be, but it's important to note that one of these cups will fill your little Siberian Husky puppy up. And this is up to about four or five months old. Now the caveat here is that you're going to be feeding your puppy about three times a day. They're going to get a breakfast. Oop, straggler. Good job, Bernie Spears. You get that little purse. They're going to get a breakfast. They're going to get a lunch and they're going to get a dinner. I know. How much do Husky puppies eat a whole lot and they should be eating pieced out throughout the day. If you're not able to make it home to feed your Siberian Husky puppy some lunch, make sure you're giving them a bigger breakfast and a little bit of a bigger dinner. Otherwise, you may have to wake up in the middle of the night and give them some food, which is not going to be fun. Now, when your Husky gets a little bit older, when they become a teenager and they start growing hairs and all that acne all over the face and they go, hey mom, you're going to want to feed them a little bit more but less times in a day. Now I will say this as Siberian Huskies get older as they reach their teenage hood they will let you know when they are done with that third meal. For example when they're a Husky puppy they're basically going to eat anything you stick in front of their face. If it's three meals a day well so be it baby but once your Husky puppy begins to turn into a teenager they're gonna be like yo we don't need three meals a day and they most likely will cut that meal out themselves. 
one day you'll put down that third bowl of food and your husky might just say, I'm good, bro. I'm just gonna stand here and fall asleep while my master talks about YouTube stuff. So once they turn into a teenager, and this is about five to eight months old, you are going to be giving them about two cups two of these bad boys but they're going to be only twice a day now i do recommend you keep up with the kibble as soon as you get your puppy whenever you get your dog whether it be from a rescue place or from a breeder ask them what they're feeding your husky and continue feeding that for at least a month or so now let's say they get a little bit older your husky's entering that one year phase of becoming a man or a lady well now it's time to evolve their eating plan even further we are going to knock out one feeding session entirely and we're gonna be feeding our adult husky up to three full cups of food. Now you can start implementing wet food into the process. I really highly recommend it because wet food contains some really good ingredients and some really good nutrients. So if you're giving your dog about two of these a day and they're an adult, I recommend you start giving them this on top because this wet food supplemented with this dry food is going to be the perfect diet. Giving your dog too much kibble because when they become an adult, you're gonna have to max that kibble out. We're talking three full cups of kibble. That's a lot of dry food. Not only is it hard for your dog to digest in the long run, but it puts wear and tear on them pretty little teeth foods. Yeah, that's right. We wanna keep those teeth all healthy and good. What you should be doing is substituting some of that with some wet food so you don't have to give them as much kibble. Start giving them about two cups of kibble and then put an entire can or half a can on top of that and feed them that way. That is my recommendation for you when it comes to feeding an adult dog. Now there is a difference when it comes to feeding a male husky and a female husky. Typically a female husky does not need as much food as they are a bit smaller than the male huskies. I typically feed Britney Spears a little bit more than I feed Gila because he typically needs the extra food. He's a little bit bigger, he weighs a lot more, so he's a lot more hungrier. Just keep this in mind. Now you can use any kind of wet food that you want. Right now we got solid gold and I usually use Taste of the Wild, but we don't have that today. Now just for review purposes, let's go ahead and open up the solid gold and just see what it looks like in comparison to the kibble here so you know exactly what your dog is getting in case you're interested in possibly getting some of this solid gold food right here because I will say this is some of the most highly recommended food on the market right now for doggos. So here's what it looks like. Now typically this is my least favorite type of dog food when it kind of looks like spam like this. You can see it's kind of got some water in it and then it's kind of like a spammy kind of thing. It's kind of like condensed meat and it's all ground up. This is my least favorite way to feed your dog wet food. Now there's nothing wrong with this at all. There's nothing wrong with it. We can go ahead and we can put it on top of the kibble for tonight when we do feed the dogs. But I do prefer Merrick because Merrick, they actually have whole pieces of chicken, whole pieces of vegetable, which are really good for your dog instead of having it all ground up like this. Now, really, it's just preference, okay? If you want to get your dog whole pieces of chicken, I would go with Merrick or Taste of the Wild. This looks like it's a little bit ground up. I'll show you guys a little bit closer. You can see it's kind of like, you know, like devil's ham or whatever. There's nothing wrong with that. I just personally prefer solid pieces of food. When I feed my Siberian Husky, I want to look at that food and go, mmm, I might eat that actually. I want my dog to be eating something that I would eat myself because honestly, this just does not look that great. So with that being said, you can go ahead and replace some of the wet food with the dry food once your Husky becomes an adult because feeding them three cups of kibble, like I said, can be hard on their little mouths. So that's basically the guidelines for feeding a Siberian Husky. Make sure you're feeding them multiple times a day with just one cup per feeding if they're a little puppy, up it to about two cups when they become older than five months to eight months old, and then once they're about one year old, start feeding them about three cups of kibble each night. But do yourself a favor, take my recommendation and put a topper on that kibble because it's likely, because Huskies have picky tummies, 
they will get sick of that kibble very fast. So we want to thank you guys so much for coming out. We really appreciate you guys watching every single day, supporting the channel. It means so much to us. We want to thank our patrons over at Patreon. You guys make this channel possible. A hip hip hooray for you guys. You are the coolest people in the entire universe. If you guys have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. If you love our content, be sure to subscribe and hit that bell. I know you don't have to subscribe or hit that like button, but we're saying it means the world when you do. It helps us out so much. So if you are taking anything from the video, please consider subscribing. It only takes a second and all you can get from this channel is free tips. And if you guys feel like donating to the Patreon, you can check out the link below. We have a Facebook and an Instagram link below as well. Only $1 a month to donate to the channel and you get your name up at the end of every episode. <laughs> look, at, look at those faces. <laughs> all right, guys, we'll see you next time with guess what? Yep, another episode of whatever we make. Ba da ba da ba 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 da ba da ba da ba 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 ba